Hello, I'm James Clark from the Department of Physiology at King's College London, and in this brief tutorial I'm going to show you some of the functionality of the whiteboard which you can use in Microsoft Teams to do live demonstrations. I've opened a new meeting, although I have nobody in this meeting apart from me, and I've muted my microphone and turned off my camera for the purposes of this demonstration. So you might get this little, your microphone is muted message appearing on the screen, but just ignore that. In order to open a whiteboard within Teams meeting, you go to the share content button, which is on the top menu, and you choose whiteboard. The whiteboard should appear on the far right hand side of your Teams share options. To the left of this, you'll see your various PowerPoint presentations, your window sharing options, and your desktop sharing options. So let's choose whiteboard. The whiteboard will open up automatically in the background and should appear on the screen. But before you can start using the whiteboard, you'll need to make a choice about whether you want to just present or collaborate. If you just choose present, only you can edit. If you choose collaborate, everybody else on the call can edit your whiteboard. That may not be a good thing if you want to keep this presentation in order because any student or member of staff could just click on your whiteboard and add things to it. But if you want some interaction with your student, you'll need to be able to eventually uh, allow this. But you could just start off your presentation as a presentation only whiteboard, which is what I'm gonna do now. I'm going to choose Present Whiteboard. You'll see that a message flashes up saying only you can edit. If you click on the little cog on the top right hand side, you can allow other participants to edit by opening or closing this option box. So for the moment I'm going to leave it as it is and close this settings window. On the top of the whiteboard you have a series of icons. You can see here the pan and zoom icon, and this allows you to move your whiteboard. Since there is nothing on the whiteboard, you can't see it's moving. You've then got pens in black, red, green, and blue. You can't change these colors. And you've got an eraser. In addition to this, you have a text icon and a notes icon. So quite simply, you can click on one of these pens and draw on your screen and all the participants of this meeting will be able to see what you've drawn. You can choose different colours. You can't change the thickness or the style of the drawing but if you don't like anything you've drawn you can use your eraser tool and click on any of the individual parts. If you draw over everything, so if I just draw some lines here and use your eraser tool and draw over everything it'll delete everything off the screen. So you can quickly draw and quickly delete. You cannot use the undo function of your machine in order to undelete these items. So once you've deleted them, you will have to redraw them if you wish to use them again. If I draw an object in the middle of the screen and use the pan zoom button, I can move this object and move all the other objects in relation to it. So if I have two objects side by side and I move, it moves everything. If I use my scroll wheel on my mouse, I can zoom in and out of my drawing. In this way, you could start a drawing perhaps, and then move on to a secondary phase of that drawing in a further drawing. If you want to add text, you can simply click on the text icon, type in your text, and once you've typed it in, you can move it to anywhere you want. You cannot change the font, or the size of the text. So if you wish your viewers to see the text, you may need to zoom in. If you wish to add a note, simply click on the add note button and you can type in text into your note. You can delete the note or you can move the note to anywhere else on the screen. Unlike many drawing programs in Microsoft Windows or Mac operating system, remember if you want to move an object, you simply click on the object and move it. If you click on the object and try and move, it'll move the entire screen. So remember, click on the object and move it and it'll move. Once you've finished this session and you're happy, you may want to open it up so other participants can then edit your picture. If you wish to export this whiteboard image, click on export image. 
A strange quirk of Microsoft Teams is that it now opens up the whiteboard into a web version of Microsoft Teams that then allows you to download the image directly onto your desktop. This might just be an Apple Macintosh problem, but it may also be a Windows problem. So be aware, if you try and save the image, you may find it opens up this web interface. Other things you could do to save the image is to use whatever screen capture utility you have. For instance, I've got an Apple with their own screen capture built in, and I can then take a picture of that and save it onto my desktop or into my downloads folder. Once you have finished with your whiteboard, you can click on Stop Presenting and go back to your lecture. If at any point you wish to return to your whiteboard, simply click on the Share, click on Whiteboard, and will open up the same whiteboard as you left it earlier in the session. At this point, you may want to annotate your whiteboard further. So I hope that helps. It's a brief guide to using the whiteboard. It's best to be careful how you share because everybody can edit your whiteboard on your behalf, but also it's quite a useful tool if you're in control to be able to demonstrate some simple concepts during live teaching. If you found this tutorial useful, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel.